Happy Halloween, it's day two, and it's you know who, it is Steve the Gamble, and yes, you should see the match, folks, it was quite the match, I can't believe how it turned out, you go watch it, you go see it, you tell me who the real winner was in that match, and I'll leave it at that, and we'll talk more about that at a later day, but it's Scabo. We had to pick the most appropriate player to go for this belt against Trey Silent, who regularly wears a Halloween mask. Scabo, he goes all, full bore. And we love some Scabo. We don't know if he's a bad guy or a good guy. We can't tell with him. But I got some Halloween candy here. In my little uh, Halloween jackpot. Don't mind if I nibble on this while I commentate, everybody. Cabo has yet to have gold in the FDXW. I'm not sure about the golden days. But Trey Silent. I don't know if he's uh, bumped into him. We have people bumping into everybody all the time. He is the epitome of Halloween, folks. And that is Trey Silence music. He is the hot seat champion. It was held for the longest time by Mike Miner, and then they had a back and forth, and, well, Mike Miner, he is, uh, with his team, they're going for tag gold on Halloween night itself. That's going to be quite a week, from Friday to next Wednesday. Trey Silent, loving his gold. Almost as much as Susie, whoever that is. Maybe his lantern. And there it is. Brought in by David Rivera, who is apparently back with us now. He's been voicing that he wants Scott Adams, and now, and now he can do that. Trey Silent getting an early lead. But Scabo, oh, driving that giant clown hand into his trapezoid, his trapezius, his, I don't know. Oh, bang in his head. Is it going to be a trick or a treat tonight for these men? Uh oh. And, of course, it's extreme because it's hot seat. This thing is done backstage at times. Oh! Carpeted him with a giant licorice stick. No, it's just a bat. It's a niggin. Oh! Just owning Scabo right now. Scabo has been... Uh, Getting a little more public, showing off his wardrobe on Facebook. You can probably see him if you're in the right group. He's all about the clowns. 
Clown. Oh! DDT on the floor outside the ring. That's not going to tickle. Oh, and Scavo just walloping Trey Silence. And uh oh! Trey Silent. There's no count out here, folks. But it's hard for our cameras to catch the action. Oh! Scott, we're not having any of that. Wow, what was that? And oh! Against the post! That's a painful post, man. Ah, pun. And oh! Clown elbow. Scabbo grabbing him by the legs, but oh, Trey Silent knocking him over. Oh, going for a pin. One, two. And uh, after this. Will be the international belt on the line against go figure Connor the Nightmare. And Trace Island shoulder blocks Cabo down. And uh oh, Trey Silent. Oh, bending him up. Oh, no. Oh, that's going to make it real hard for Scabbo to do anything. And into that ring. Where's Trey Silent going? Oh, he's getting a treat. Which might end up being a trick. Oh, no. That ain't a... Oh! That ain't a lollipop stick, folks. And around the block. Trick-or-treating around the block there. Oh! And going for the pin... One, two, no, Scabbo. Scabbo refusing to go. Trey Silent going halfway up. Oh, but Scabbo getting up. Oh, and he misses with that graceful drop kick. But Scabbo does not take advantage. Oh, wait, he's going in behind. Maybe he's trying to maneuver himself. Oh, Trey Silent. Oh! And going for that pin. One, two. Oh! And Scavo walks down the road of goldlessness once again. So sad is day two of Hello Week. The week of Halloween. One. Two, and that wasn't the time. Oh, that should have that should have destroyed Trey Silent. Scabbo does try, and we love him. We keep him here because he is such a charismatic character. And that day that he gets gold is gonna be a wondrous day. And I think this was it. And Trey Silent, still hot seat champion, but it is an ever defended belt. He has to keep his eyes in the back of his head. Congratulations, Trey Silent.
Well, that was quite the interlude. But Connor the Nightmare, handpicked for this special day of the week. It's ha Halloween week. And Connor the Nightmare, who doesn't get a lot of action these days, had to be the one. Because you never know. Holiday advantage, perhaps? Like Santa Claus wrestling on Christmas. And oh, we haven't heard this music in a long time. We could never hear her anyway. And there he is. Connor the Nightmare. Quite a character. Very silent, but... Oh, here comes the... The smokes of hell itself. FXW might as well have an H in it for Halloween. Because we have a number of creepy ass characters. Wow. If he ever had gold, damn. A psycho the Clown. He'd fit right into this mess. Them, Scavo, and Connor. But even they won't have anything to do with him. I hear the two of them get together now and then for a cup of something black. It ain't coffee, though. Connor would love to take that international gold and bring it to new depths. This is very creepy. Well, how do you follow that? Except with the legendary music of one of the longest running E-Fed stars. He is the veteran of veterans of video E-Fed wrestling and now international champion. He has had quite a little run. He went against Collier twice. He went against I Love Durant. And then there was Connor. How many weeks has he had that? He beat Adam at show 105. So he's had it six weeks. To six, to seven, to eight, to nine, to ten, to eleven. So he's getting close to that record. Close-ish. International gold. It's the thing that gives people the spark of life in E-Fed Wrestling. Weekly defenses. More people get into it. The weeks matter more. Oh, and Connor thrown into that turnbuckle. And over the shoulder. And uh oh. The one thrown back in the ring. And Connor just kicking away at the international champion. Oh, rolling him roll. Oh, he rolled him too far. Oh, oh, clocked him. That ain't a Scott Adams clock, but uh, it'll tick you off. Get it? Clock, tick. Oh, the one. Suplexing Connor the Nightmare. Driving those fists into his head. 
Where's the one going? No one's going halfway up. Oh, wait. Oh, what a maneuver. That was one hell of a move. And Connor slamming him to the mat. Uh oh. Connor going all the way up. Oh, giant elbow to the sternum. Connor grabbing him for a sidewalk knee slam to the back business. And the one stomping on Connor. Uh oh. Oh, he's twisting him big in like a pretzel there. But he gets up and... Whoa! Oh! Oh! His head hit that bottom turnbuckle. That will compromise him. But Connor not paying attention. And yet he's back again anyway. Back and forth these two are. Oh! And the one reversed it. Went from a choke slam to a choke slam. Oh, and the one. Oh! Powerful clothesline. Yanking on that shoulder and neck muscle area. Oh, it's getting, uh, it's getting revved up. Oh, and down he goes. Oh. And oh, shin to the sternum. Maybe the head, I don't know. He's holding his head. Uh oh. Down he goes. Into, oh, he's got him good. One, two. Oh, he escaped. And Connor. Would like to take this little kid's treats. Oh, slammed him back on his the back of his head. Oh, the one arm dragging him. Oh, back and forth. These two are very, very evenly matched. Who would have guessed this under understated star could fight back so well? Oh, flapjack. Awesome. And oh no, going around the world. But on Halloween, it's around the block. Spinning Beetlejuice head, whatever. And one, two. We chose this uh, arena, everybody. Or the all the kickoff days because resurrection is the most Halloweeny. Using the Sunday special ring just didn't seem right. That's for Easter. Over the shoulder. So that's why we stuck with this. Crow says he has a surprise for the um, Halloween. Can we uh, we redesigned uh, the, this arena for the three days, but Crow. Had something special in mind. Uh oh! Wunderbar! Right in the center of the ring! Well, oh, Connor still has some gas left. Halloween season, he is especially powerful. And oh, over the rope! And uh, he can't lose the belt this way, but he can lose the match. Oh! Oh no, he flew! That damn monster flew!
Oh my goodness! The one was attacked by Dracula. Oh my god. Oh no, and Connor's got a comeback. Oh no. The one is in trouble. Whoa! And he explodes. But he didn't have anything else left in the tank. Oh! The one played possum. He played dead, if you will. Oh, and Connor's foot stuck on that rope a little bit. That's not going to help. Oh, back and forth still. What is up with this? I don't think Connor has done his finisher yet. Is he going to get to? Wow, these two are exhausted. Oh! I think he needs those legs to do his finisher. And without them, it's very hard to cinch it in. Uh-oh! Oh no! Wunderbar! One more time! One more time! And one! Two! And the nightmare is over for the one! And he survives Halloween with his belt! Right here and oh! That's where he uh, turned the tables. And the one has reached victory number six, I do believe. He won it at 105, and he has gone six weeks now. The record, I believe, is nine. We'll see how he does in November. That's where things get really cold. Not chilly, cold. And the one happy that he has survived Hell a Week. Because Halloween's when a lot of things happen, folks.